Hey everyone, Andy here, and today I'm checking out the Sony OLED displays. These are organic light emitting diode displays, uh, very different than the traditional LCD display. And really, when you see these monitors, you're going to understand why I really believe uh, that they're going to take over the, the, the monitoring on set of productions everywhere, because they just really are vivid and amazing looking. Uh, Sony has released a 7-inch version of it, a PVM740. They have a 24-inch PVM, which we see behind me, a 17-inch PVM, and they have several a uh, higher end series called the BVM F and BVM E series. I'll talk about those in a minute and I have a chart that you can check out as well. Uh, so the, uh, the, the OLED displays, what makes them so impressive is really just one thing, one really impressive thing, and I'll talk about more stuff, but uh, and that's the uh, black levels of the, of, of the monitor. It can give you true blacks. Uh, most LCD screens, or all LCD screens, actually have a backlight behind each pixel or just a, a solid even backlight. And that produces sort of a not exactly black black. Does it have to have a tube, fluorescent tube, or an LED backlight to make, to make, to make light? Versus uh, in an OLED display, each pixel is producing both color and uh, light value, especially glowing. So we're seeing the actual data being represented to us. Additionally, it can have very high resolution in a small area, so OLEDs are very nice. But to illustrate uh, the black level thing, which would make people very uh, impressed with it, uh, I'm going to compare these two monitors here. Uh, here's my OLED display over here, and here's my 17-inch uh, Sony LCD display. I'm just going to close the iris on the camera and see the difference here. So if I just stop all the way down here and close it off, uh, you're going to see on my OLED there, uh, I have a very black black versus on the LCD I have sort of a, a gray black. Uh, again, this has been very traditionally the case. Uh, it's a little hard to see in the computer screen, but this is a good example. You really have to see this in person, of course. But those true blacks make all the difference in the world. It's very impressive. So what's the difference between all the OLED displays out there? Well, you have the PVM series, which is the uh, cost-effective, uh, field-ready type uh, series. And then you have the BVM F and the BVM E. Uh, the big things in the E and the F is they're definitely grading potential monitors. They're 12-bit monitors, amazing, uh, really just taking over the DIT world out there. Uh, 12 bits can produce over 68 million colors. Uh, but, but even the PVM is a 10-bit monitor, which produces over 1 billion colors, compared to an 8-bit monitor, which most of the monitors in the world actually are, which produces less than around well, just a little more than 16 million colors. So, from 16 million in the 8-bit world to 1 billion to 68 billion, there's a lot of different color differences that are out there. The potential is very nice for these screens. And again, even the PVM is 10-bit, so very impressive that way. Now, one of the big differences between the F and the E is that the, the E has the, high, the highest end one's the E, and it has a lot more processing potential. It can do LUTs and looks and et cetera. It's very nice that way. The F has a little less processing power, but it still has the 12-bit panel option. Uh, and then finally, on the PVM, we have a sort of scaled down version, same kind of input options, but scaled down. And in one big way, it's a little bit limited in that uh, in an OLED display versus an LCD, because there is no backlight, uh, 24p footage will sort of flicker. It will flicker uh, to look at. It's a little, a little disturbing if you're not used to seeing it. In the case of a CRT, we, we, we always saw that flicker in 24p, because the CRTs work the same way. They produce light. Uh, so and when people start to see these OLEDs flickering at 24p, they're a little uneasy if they haven't seen them in a while in a CRT world. So uh, in, the, in the PVM series, it does flicker a little bit. Uh, in the, in the uh, E and the F, they actually add a 24p to 72 hertz uh, conversion, which actually just sort of duplicates frames into your, onto the screen, giving you a very smooth 24p. On the PVM, that doesn't exist. So we came up with a little bit of solutions for working with 24p on these PVMs to get rid of the flicker if it's going to bug you. Uh, one is just using the built-in uh, uh, converter within uh, the monitor, within the camera. So ma many uh, cameras can output 24p with pull-down converted to 60i. This is a very nice thing to have, of course, uh, for a lot of different distribution reasons, but also just for this particular reason. So, for instance, this F3 here, when I open up the iris, it's shooting in 24p right now, but it's being converted to 60i, and it's very smooth, no flicker, it looks good. Uh, if, you, if I put 24p on the screen right now, it would flicker. And if the case that I wanted to output 24p but only feed my monitor 60i, we also thought about combining the monitor with this very handy converter from Redbyte. This is the uh, MDDUCC, multi definition down up cross convert box. We just call it the duck. It's a very handy box, it does a lot of things. You send it basically any resolution in, it can convert that, uh, to change it from progressive to interlaced, interlaced to progressive. 
uh, has composite component and HDMI output, and can also work as a DA. The Duck is a really cool little box. You strap to the back of this monitor and you can do a lot of things with it, including convert from progressive to interlaced and solve the flicker issue that way. AJA is also gonna have a, a cross-converting box which should also be able to do this. Uh, so very nice to have there as well. You put that on there, solution is, is there. Now, again, it is Flickr in 24p, but this is a, a workaround. The BVM series does not do this, but the difference in price point. So uh, this is the, 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 the uh, MD Duck OLED displays. They're very nice to see. Come check it out. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.